In the morning, my friends, how are you today? Welcome back to our cozy hometown podcast from Bemidji, Minnesota. We have recorded this short study of God's Word just for you in this convenient take-along package. And remember, our Bible studies are, and have always been, GMO-free. Our devotionals are designed to give you something to think about as you step out the door into the world, in about as much time as it takes to get ready to walk out that same door. This week, we delve into an interesting topic, God and mammon, as described in Matthew chapter 6. It's not exactly an everyday term. When I was knee-high, I always thought mammon was a monster from my superhero cartoons. And I guess, in a way, it can be. Mammon, according to the Free Dictionary, is worldly gain personified as a false god in the New Testament. In today's terms, it's pretty much money and all that it can buy in this life. We all have that one friend that is obsessed by money. Whether or not they're successful in obtaining it is immaterial. It's all they think about. If you can't find the friend that fits that description when you look around the room, it might be you. No one is immune from the temptations of the promises money makes. If you like this content, share it with a friend. If you look in the podcast description on the app that you're using right now, in every episode, there is a share link for you to email or text to a friend. I've tried to make the link super obvious. Please let me know if it isn't at john.kirk at stmarksbemidji.org. Share it because it's studying the Word of God. And faith in Jesus and His perfect life, death, and resurrection comes by hearing the Word. And salvation from death and an eternity in hell comes to us by that faith. Why would you not tell everyone? So, step off your vintage harvester for a few minutes. Your machine can do it by itself just as well as those newfangled ones do. Right? Let's listen to what today's devotion has in store for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Matthew chapter 6, the words of Jesus, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will take care of itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. This is my text. In the name of Jesus, amen. How much people strain, strive, and work to get a respite, a few days of peace and quiet away from the pressures of a workaday life they live. How much effort, going even several extra miles, does it take for people to finally get ahead so they can take it easy before they're forced to get back at it so they don't lose any ground? How many sleepless nights, taking sleep aids, drinking too much, must there be under the pressures of daily work and living? How long does the fear of competition from others drive one to the brink? Families suffer, marriages suffer, co-workers suffer, and the individuals caught up in it all suffer. So what is so tough about believing the Word of God and trusting the Jesus many say they trust in? Could it be that the trust is often lacking? Perhaps why Jesus said, Seek first God's kingdom and His righteousness? and all these other things will be added to you? Seek. Continue to search out and locate, to find. Where is the kingdom of God and his righteousness to be diligently sought? In his word, preached by pastors and confessed by Christians everywhere. In his absolution, pronounced in the mouth of his pastors and by the forgiveness of Christians. In baptism, where daily the sin and evil lust within is drowned in contrition and repentance and the new being in Christ arises to live in righteousness and purity before God and man, and in the holy supper of our Lord's own body and blood for the remission of sins and the strengthening of faith to fear, love, and trust God above all things and love one's neighbor as himself. The kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. How blessed are the people who know the joyful sound. O Lord, 
they walk in the light of your countenance. For you, O Lord, have made me glad by what you have done. I will sing for joy at the work of your hands. God grant it to you for Jesus' sake. Amen. That's all there is for today, but we are so happy you took a few moments out of your busy day to listen to God's Word with us. Please consider subscribing to our podcast to hear more devotions like this, Monday through Friday, and to hear our Sunday sermons as well. We also cordially invite you to join us for church every week at 8 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. on Sunday mornings. If you would like more information about our church and its ministry, please visit our website at www.stmarksbemidji.org. 